What happened to the giant lizards that used to roam our planet with total impunity? These big animals ruled the day, stomping over every inch of terra firma and swimming in our seas until they vanished mysteriously, leaving only bones and puzzling clues behind. While most people assume that the great dinos died out from a cataclysmic asteroid event, others aren't so sure. We present to you the 10 craziest theories about dinosaur extinction that might just be true. Number 10. Faulty Eggs Could the doom of the dinos have been sealed by faulty eggs? H.K. Urban certainly thought so back in the late 1970s. This egghead dinosaur enthusiast inspected bits of fossilised eggs and concluded that the shell construction was out of whack. Some of the shells were too thin to contain their precious dino cargo for very long, while others were split off into several layers, making it nearly impossible for the baby dinos to escape, suffocating them before they even got a chance to take their first wobbly steps. These defective shells were found mostly in parts of Spain and France, and may or may not have been indicative of a bigger problem. Erben certainly thought he'd cracked the case, but when eggs in other parts of the world didn't have the same deformities, his theory was debunked. Who knows if faulty eggs caused some dino casualties, but it doesn't seem to be the full story. Number 9. A fiery end. No, we are not talking about meteors here, but a whole different level of fiery devastation. Some people think that the Earth itself slaughtered the delicate dinos, and that their epic end came in the form of tons of piping hot lava gushing out of countless volcanoes at the same time. There's some scientific precedent to all of this. The world was a wild and fiery place back in the day, with volcanoes erupting everywhere as tectonic plates shifted and the world settled into what we know it as today. These volcanoes would have stayed red hot for thousands of years, clogging up the skies with dust and burying land and sea creatures in burning hot magma. It would certainly have been a grisly death. But is it the real story? While volcanic activity would have wrought serious havoc on plant life and possibly starved out a lot of herbivores, it's unlikely that volcanic fury would cause the extinction of these big beasts. In fact, most of it was contained to modern-day India in the so-called Deccan Traps that spanned the subcontinent. While volcanoes might have been an unpleasant reality of life back in the Jurassic Age, they are unlikely to have caused a global extinction. Our number 8 pick is a different story. Number 8. They ate their own young. Dinos wouldn't be the first animals to dabble in cannibalism, and the prehistoric world was full of examples of species snacking on smaller, more vulnerable members of their own genus. The ancient seas were crammed full of giant whales, sharks, and terrifying lizard-like creatures with voracious appetites for their own kind. So it's certainly plausible that some of the more lethal lizards would stalk and eat young dinos. The cannibal creature theory was popularised by George Wayland, who speculated that dino eggs were a tasty snack for larger carnivorous dinosaurs. Instead of chasing prey that could run away, meat-eating dinosaurs preferred to slurp down on a tasty meal of pre-born dinos resting in their eggs. Wyland went even further, supposing that giant snakes and smaller lizards made meals out of these eggs as well, depleting populations and eventually leading to mass extinction. While the idea of a stone-cold monitor lizard going on a baby binge sounds interesting, it doesn't explain why the larger carnivals went bye-bye. Our number 7 pick might have the answer. Number 7. Supernova Apocalypse Could calamity from the skies have spelt the end of the dinosaur reign? It's really not out of the realm of possibility. Wallace Tucker, renowned starman and physicist, Let's pose this theory back in the early 1970s. According to Tucker and his gang, a massive supernova might have knocked life on Earth for a huge loop. Supernovas are exploding stars, and one could, theoretically, spew radiation directly onto the planet. The dinos would have had no hope of recovering from such a massive space spectacle, and would have perished on the spot. 
Although we don't know if fire rained down from the skies in the last days of the Cretaceous period, it's doubtful that such an epic event would have left the world as we know it unscathed. There has never been any proof that a fatal supernova enveloped the Earth in prehistoric times, but then again, there's never been any proof otherwise either. Number 6. Out of control growth. One of the wackiest theories about the extinction of the dinosaurs comes from a Hungarian spy named Baron Franz Nopska von Felso Silvas. That mouthful of a name is no match for the bizarre theory dreamt up by the brash Baron, who speculated that dinos simply grew too big for their bridges. Specifically, he thought it was the dinosaurs' glands that eventually did them in. According to the theory, dinosaurs grew to ridiculous proportions because they were the apex animals on the planet. Although we can certainly argue that dinos ruled the roost way back in the day, it's unlikely that their glands transformed them into giant piles of inertia. The inventive baron speculated that these dinosaurs ran out of food sources because they simply became too lazy or stupid to move. Incredibly, the theory was tied to Darwinism in the 1900s, when the theory was seriously bandied about in scientific circles. Number 5. Not enough ladies. Prehistoric times were one big, lonely sausage fest. According to Sherman Silver, expert in infertility and creator of one of the most interesting theories on our list. Silver's theory has some ground in fact, though. As alligators and crocs have similar problems during certain mating seasons, could the big lizards have suffered forced bachelorhood also? It's an interesting idea, but one that seems a little out of the range of possibility. Selber's theory pieced together a whole bunch of dino lore, including the volcano apocalypse that supposedly spelled their end. According to his research, the temperature fluctuation led to a serious lack of the ladies and the dinos were left with zero mating prospects. The reason why Silber's theory doesn't hold too much water is simple. There are descendants of the dinosaurs around today. Crocs existed in some form back in ancient times, and they didn't die out. If there was a ruinous rain of volcanic ash that turned all the innies into outies, why are they still around? If you thought that theory was bonkers, wait until you get a load of number four. Number 4. Gravitational Intervention Yes, the dinos might have been undone by the very force that keeps our feet on the ground. According to this loopy lane of logic, gravity didn't have the same pull that it does today. During the Mesozoic era, gravity was far weaker and much more unstable. Due to this bizarre planetary glitch, dinos were able to explode in size, reaching freakish proportions. Gravitational intervention is a neat spin on our dear Baron's idea, but this theory gets even further out of field. Apparently, dinosaurs didn't just have overactive glands, they became absolutely gigantic. Some theorists speculate that dinos swelled to well over 100 tons during the Mesozoic, although this has never been corroborated by fossil findings. When the Cretaceous period ended, gravity somehow shifted and became what we know today, cementing all of the dinos down to the ground in a species-shattering event. How did gravity turn on and off like a light switch? And why? Nobody can say for certain, and it's easy to speculate that this theory doesn't hold much water at all. Aside from the obvious fact that no big bones have been discovered that support this theory, there's nothing on record that would indicate that a core function of the Earth would support such a gigantic shift. Our number three pick is a little more plausible, and might even spell out our own undoing as an apex species. Number three, a dino pandemic. Picture this. Dinos are living in relative harmony with each other near the end of the Cretaceous period, when all of a sudden they were struck down with a mysterious and fatal illness. Welcome to the world of the big dinosaur pandemic. You're in for a bumpy ride. During the Mesozoic era, there were tons of parasites and nasty bits of bacteria floating around everywhere. The temperature of the Earth and the sheer number of life forms living on it meant that pandemics among living creatures would have been commonplace. During the Cretaceous period, things got a little more out of hand, with these microbiotic assassins attaching themselves to insects, 
much like we have with malaria today. Airborne illnesses would have been as deadly in dino times as they are today, but the likelihood of a sweeping pandemic killing off every single dinosaur is a tough pill to swallow. Dinosaurs not only lived on the land, but they also lived in the sea. Flying insects couldn't breach the marine waves. So how were creatures like the mighty Megalodon affected? Also, how delicate did the dinos have to be? If there was a worldwide pandemic of epic proportions, why were more vulnerable animals, like lesser lizards, not affected at all? It sure seems unlikely that this is what brought down the big behemoths. Number 2. Widespread rickets Yes, the dinosaurs could have gone extinct from a disease that sounds like it's right out of a Charles Dickens book. Rickets, the scourge of the lower class, could have brought down animals that were larger than anything walking the planet today. Sound unlikely? It has some very interesting proponents. Back in the 1920s, University of Virginia scholar Harry T. Marshall floated the rickets theory, claiming that there must have been some kind of event that blotted out the sun. Marshall claimed that the dinos didn't freeze, as one would expect from the sun being blotted out, but instead they merely suffered from lack of ultraviolet light. Rickets manifest itself in softened bones and skeletal deformities, so the doomed dinos would have had trouble getting from point A to point B. Without proper vitamin D and calcium, the dinos would have basically melted from the inside, falling into puddles of their own skin and being too weak to move. Incredibly, this theory lines up with several others on our list. Specifically, crazy amounts of growth and finicky gravitational pull. As intriguing as it sounds, it's unlikely that our dear dinos developed serious cases of rickets. Our number one pick might be plausible though. Number one, alien intervention. Come on, you totally knew it was coming. There are folks that believe that the reign of the dinosaurs was cut short by the presence of something else. Something from above that appeared in the form of little green men. Alien intervention is a theory that is bandied about regarding many of life's little mysteries. They could have helped with the pyramids after killing the dinosaurs. According to this fascinating and far-fetched theory, aliens slaughtered the dinosaurs to do humans a favour. Apparently, our extraterrestrial friends knew there was no way that dinosaurs and humans could share this single piece of terra firma, so they eliminated them entirely and welcomed us with open arms. A little harsh for the dinosaurs, but good for us. Although it really makes you wonder, what will these little green men make room for next? Are we on the business end of their gamma rays? Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to What Lurks Below.